Which country is richer? Okay, we're back on Star Degrees, where I'm presented with two random countries, and I have to decide which one has the highest GDP. Between Turkey and Ghana, I'm going to assume that it would be Turkey. Yeah, look at that. 800,000 million. What's that? Is that 800 billion or 800 trillion? I don't know. Let's not worry about it. Suriname versus Turkey. I think Turkey's going to be winning that one as well. And yeah, that's a clear win. You can see I currently have a high score of seven when I did a little practice. So hopefully we can beat that in round one. Jamaica versus Suriname. Got to be Jamaica. There's just more tourism going on. Uh, Eritrea and Jamaica. Uh, once again, same reason. We'll go for Jamaica. And then, oh, Sri Lanka and Eritrea. Okay, I mean, Eritrea is definitely a poor country in Africa, isn't it? And Sri Lanka still has some poverty, but I think it's got quite a few rich people as well. So we will be going with Sri Lanka. Yeah, clear win. I'm going Sri Lanka again. <sighs> Ooh, yeah, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Zambia scared me for a second. Oh, Bhutan's a tricky one, because obviously Zambia is not crazily wealthy at all, but Bhutan's not very big, it's not even that populated. Oh, that's tricky. It's a gamble, but I think I'm going to go with Zambia. Ah, oh, I'm scared. Yes, Zambia was the right call. So I've got a new high score if I get this right. Nigeria, Bhutan. Nigeria has lots of poverty, but it also has so many people. Like, it's one of the, like, top 10 most populated countries, so I think it's going to beat them. Yeah, comfortably. 400,000 million. <laughs> oh, Germany. Germany has a really good economy, apparently. They're one of the world's leading manufacturers behind places like China and the US, obviously. So I'm definitely going with Germany. Yeah, look at that. What's that? Four billion? Four trillion? Uh, something like that. Then we've got Russia and Germany. Uh, I'm probably going to go with Germany. Obviously, there's a lot more people in Russia. We got it. We're on double figures. We've got a score of 10. Uh, Russia and Estonia. It's going to be Russia this time. Yeah, Russia's way ahead, followed by... Oh, Ivory Coast and Estonia. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be Estonia, isn't it? Oh, it's not! No! Oh my god, what is going on? This game was made for you. That's incredible. Go and share that score. I can't. I've got a bloody headache after that. What was all the flashing about? Okay, we now have a challenge to beat 11. And if I manage to beat 11 in this video, please subscribe if you haven't already. Right, Liechtenstein is a very small country. It's gonna just have a bit of tourism. Qatar, on the other hand, is also small. But there are tons of rich millionaires and billionaires that live there so they definitely win that one yeah by a mile we've got niger and qatar i'm gonna stick with qatar definitely uh moving on to turkmenistan Ooh, well i know the turkmenistan leader is very very rich but i'm not sure how much he distributes that wealth everywhere else but i think it's still gonna beat niger yeah not by too much though south sudan is a country that's struggling quite a lot at the minute a lot of political unrest and war going on so turkmenistan have got to win that one yeah there we go and uh, next honduras uh don't know too much about Honduras economy, but I would assume that it's doing better than South Sudan. And it is. It's like maybe twice, three times as good. Okay, Ukraine. That's a tricky one. I'm assuming Ukraine probably still doing better than Honduras because it's just in a richer part of the world and it's more populated. But I could be wrong. Nope, we're definitely correct there. Right, we're on six. We're speeding through it. Lithuania and Ukraine. Just based on size and population, I'll go with Ukraine. Yes, we got it. Ooh, Luxembourg. So Luxembourg is obviously much smaller in Lithuania, but I've heard that a lot of the people that live there are quite well off. So it's a bit of a gamble, this one. I'm going to go crazy, and I think I'm going to go with Luxembourg. Yeah, it's a bit of a gamble. It's a bit of a gamble. Oh, yes, it paid off. It paid off. Okay, good, good, good. Look at us go. New Zealand, definitely going to be uh, Luxembourg. There we go. 250,000. We'll try and remember that. Marshall Islands, got to be New Zealand. There's just more to do because Marshall Islands just have barely any space. Very hard to make money there other than with tourists, isn't it? Chad and Marshall Islands. I don't think Chad's a particularly well-off country, but I I'm assuming that it's doing better than Marshall Islands. Oh, no, it's... No, it is. It is. I got confused on the numbers. <laughs> Laos and Chad. Uh, we'll go Laos. We'll go Laos. Oh, yep, yep, yep. We're good. We've got a new high score of 12. American Samoa. Uh, it's an American Overseas Territory. Uh, it's just a small place in Oceania. We'll go with Laos. Yeah, we are good. We're on 13. Unlucky for some. Greenland. So that's tricky. So Greenland, I don't know how it ties into Denmark's GDP. I'm assuming that for it to be separated from Denmark, it must just be money that Greenland makes independently. And I mean, how do you 
you make money in Greenland other than with like a bit of science stuff and a bit of tourism? But that's probably more opportunities than American Samoa gets. So I'm not confident, but I'm gonna go with Greenland. Yes, there we go. Yeah, they were quite a lot better off, right? We're on 14 now. Ecuador. Ecuador's at the top of South America. It's got good links to surrounding countries. It also includes the Galapagos Islands, which I'm assuming would be part of this. I'm going to go with Ecuador. And yeah, clear. Massive win over Greenland. Afghanistan. Ooh, I don't know. We see a lot of political unrest going on over there as well. I think I'm going to stick with Ecuador. Yes, comfortably won that. Who's next? Hong Kong. Ooh. So China itself is second highest GDP in the world after the USA. But Hong Kong is just a very small territory just on the outskirts. So I don't know how much it's going to feed into. I suppose Afghanistan's 14,000 million isn't that hard to beat. So I'm going to go with Hong Kong. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. We are on 17 now. We're doing well. Austria and Hong Kong. Let's give it to... Oh, no! You're getting good at this. Challenge a friend to beat it. I have no friends to play this. I play it myself. Djibouti and Togo. Uh, Togo. Let's go for it. <laughs> that was a bit of a gamble. Can he put sound Togo? I'll go with Togo. Yep, yeah, we're doing okay. Not too bad. Croatia. Yeah, we'll click Croatia. And then after Croatia, who's it going to be? Soto. I think I'll stick with Croatia. Thank you. All right, we're on a score of four already. Mexico's definitely going to win that one by an absolute mile. By like two miles. Mexico to Chile. Mm, probably still Mexico. Yes, it is. Oh, Bahrain. Another one of those tiny but very rich Middle Eastern countries with lots of billionaires. I think I'm going to go with Bahrain. Ah, oh, I made the wrong call. Can I do it? Can I beat 17? I don't think I can. Right, this one's nice and easy because USA are top of the list. So no one's really going to beat them. So we get a couple of freebies because of that. Singapore, however, are very, very rich. So let me try and remember the number. But it is going to be USA. Oh, it's actually not quite as high as I expected. Fair enough. Uh, Kuwait. Uh, Singapore's going to smash that one. Not crazily so, though. Kuwait, another Middle Eastern rich country. Antigua and Barbuda. Definitely going to be Kuwait. Uh, Afghanistan's going to come up next. Look at that beautiful Antiguan flag, by the way. Absolutely delightful. Cape Verde in Afghanistan. I don't know, to be honest. I don't know very much about Cape Verde. I'm going to go with... Afghanistan. Yeah, there we go. And the next, Tunisia. Tunisia definitely takes that one. And, oh, Senegal to Tunisia. Probably Tunisia. Oh, they were kind of close, though. Kind of close. We're getting to dual figures. I'm clicking Ecuador. Storming through it now. Panama straight to Ecuador. Oh, they're close, though. I'm getting stressed. I'm not going to lie. Panama and Burkina Faso. I think Burkina Faso's got quite a bit of poverty, so I'm going to go with Panama. Yes, we're all right. Gabon and Burkina Faso. Um, I don't know. I honestly couldn't say it. I'm just going to guess a 50-50 on Gabon. 18,000 to 19,000. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, to end off, we're going to do a random number generator round. So Ukraine is number one and Tonga is number two. Let's click generate. Oh, it's number one. So I think Ukraine is definitely going to take that first one. Got a score of one. Oh my God. If the random number generator beats my high score, I will be devastated. Ukraine and Benin. So we need another one. Oh, and it's a two. <laughs> it's good to know I am at least smarter than a random number generator. Thank you very much for watching. Link to this game will be in the description. Please do subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you later.